Hello friends, welcome to Dexperian. I am Didi and I am here with a new illustration. For those who are new, this channel is all about designing, discussing various tools and tips and tricks in Photoshop. Today I will be making this. I will be guiding you through the whole step by step process. So without any further ado, let's start. As usual, we will be starting our new canvas. We will be selecting poster A2 size. Everything is set in the preset. If you want to know how to use or save the presets, you can refer to my other videos. There I have discussed it in whole totality. Let's create. And now we will be dragging our image onto our canvas. Like that. If you want to resize, you can do that. Now we will use our various selection tools to do the background removal. So once again, starting with the quick selection tool, select on the select subject tab. The subject will be selected and then we will see if there is any refinement needed I have already done it so I will skip this the whole process in this part if you want to see in details you can refer to my other videos where I have discussed uh, background removal process in details now that it is done, now we will add a solid adjustment layer beneath our subject layer and that will be dark one. Yeah, another thing if you see when it comes on the dark background there is a little fringing on the edges of the subject. This one we can easily remove by selecting the layer mask and go to filter then we go to others then minimum in minimum we select we play with the slider you can go on we'll select here about 9 and press ok and if you see now the fringing has gone ok now we'll change back the solid adjustment layer to light color of our choice or any color of your choice you can select Let's just resize our subject and now what we will going to do in this illustration is double exposure. For that we will bring our another image on top of this subject layer like that. Now what we will do is we will change the opacity of the second image layer to around like 68 percent or 73 percent like that and now we will adjust our new image on our subject layer change back the opacity to 100 percent and now we will clip this image layer to our subject layer for clipping press and hold the alt in case of pc the option button and in between these two layers when the cursor when the cursor changes like that just click now we will change the blend mode of this layer to screen and now we will be doing some more adjustments now what I want is this part of the face should be a little bit more visible so for doing that what we'll do is we will select the image layer and taking the brush flow to about 10% and taking the foreground color is black we will paint over it this will ask for rasterizing the layer hit ok and now we'll slowly 
whenever you think adjust the brush size by hitting the bracket keys second bracket keys on your keyboard and I think it is done for now now what we'll do is merge these two layers so that we cannot accidentally move the image layer for that this time we'll be selecting both the layers and then right clicking on them we will convert them to smart object now it is done now if you can see if you transform resize your image both the layers remains in the same position but now what I think I have to readjust something in this the whole subject and image layer for doing that what we will do is I go to this layer the smart object layer and then on the icon I will double click so if you see this will open in a new canvas now we have our both the layers separate in this one we will adjust them as per our requirement like I can move around with this resize only the image layer and do many more things let me demonstrate another one let's add a levels adjustment layer to this one and we will play with the slider like that let's clip it to our subject layer and I want to do another thing let's add a gradient adjustment layer now what we'll do is position the gradient now we'll change the color of the gradient by clicking on this one then changing the color press ok then once again clip it to the subject layer now we will change the blending mode or blend mode of this gradient layer to multiply play with the opacity let's adjust it a little bit more Now if you can see we have done all the changes in another of the canvas so if you look at this canvas it all remains the same so what we'll do is just save this canvas we close this canvas and now see so all the changes what we have made it has changed everything in our main canvas and also it has done in one layer we have one layer only now what we'll do is we'll make a duplicate of this layer we're gonna need that later on and turn off the visibility of one layer and work with this one after that we will link these two layers and then we will bring one margin and place it in the place where we want it and now to one of the subject layer for which the visibility is turned on we will apply a layer mask we will take the rectangular marquee tool make a rectangle on one part of the subject layer and taking the brush tool opacity 200% flow 200% taking the foreground color as black we will hide this part command D to deselect now we will be doing the same thing just on the opposite side of the margin now turn on the visibility of the first subject layer and now we will add a text layer type whatever you like change the font 
you can adjust the spacing from here we won't change the color now right now it is irrelevant holding the shift key we will rotate the text layer and place or position it as power and need I will be placing it here now that we have finalized our text layer we are going to turn on the visibility of our second subject layer and now we will click on the text icon holding the command button to select the text and go to our layer mask of the second subject layer take the brush and foreground color as black we will paint over it sorry before that we have to inverse the selection that is command shift and i so that it deletes or hides the outside of the text layer now we'll take the brush and do like this now once again command d to deselect go to select tool and now what we'll do is we will turn off the visibility of the text layer now if you want you can delete the text layer also or otherwise you can keep it like that now we will be rem removing the margin as for me it is creating a distraction now we'll give an effect to this our second subject layer by going to the layer and double clicking and now we'll be giving an effect of bevel and emboss you can play with the slider When you are satisfied, hit OK. Now once again, we will resize it according to our need. This time, we will giving it a shadow effect, but in a different way. Now we will take an ellipse tool and draw an ellipse. Keeping the uh, ellipse layer selected, We'll go to filter, then go to blur and Gaussian blur. Before that, it will ask us to convert the ellipse layer into a smart object. Go ahead and click it. Now you can play with the slider with the radius to see the effect. Like this, hit OK when you are satisfied. Now let's play with the opacity of the ellipse layer. If you want, you can reposition also. I think it is okay for now. And you have got the idea. You can play any further you want. Now we have come to the last part where we'll be adding a paragraph. For that, once again, we will be since it is a paragraph, we have to uh, define the path for the paragraph to be inside it. For that, we'll again be bringing some margins. The purpose of the margin is just to guide you to make the path. So, for making the path, we will select the pen tool. Now we will click on the text tool icon and click inside this and now our paragraph will be inside this. I have already written my paragraph down so I copied it from there and now I am going to paste it here. For doing that just double click on that the text will be selected and press command V or control V to paste your paragraph and now we will adjust it by adjusting the font size like this you can change the font spacing and also you can adjust the line spacing over here When you are done, 
you just remove the margins by dragging it outside of your canvas and with this we are done for today let's do a quick recap of what we have done today after dragging in our image onto our canvas we removed the background and separated our subject from it then we removed the fringes from the edge of the subject layer then we brought another image and positioned it onto the subject layer and clipped it to the subject layer and changed the blend mode to screen then we did some necessary adjustments and made them a smart object after that we made a duplicate of the layer and turned off the visibility of one then we applied layer mask to the visible subject layer and did the same to the other subject layer on the opposite side we then added a text layer and masked the second subject layer according to the text then we created a shadow effect with the help of the eclipse tool and gaussian blur filter lastly we added a small paragraph hope you enjoyed the process of making today's illustration if you like this video please give it a like and share it with your friends and for more such videos, please subscribe to the channel. We can also connect on Pinterest and Instagram. Links are given in the description. I'll be back with a new poster illustration. Till then, goodbye and keep creating.